everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Divinia and I'm a final year mechanical engineering student at the University of Technology of Compiègne. If you clicked into this video, you're probably an international student preparing his or her future exchange at UTC or you're just curious about the university in general. Either way, keep watching because in this video, I'm going to be answering your most asked questions about UTC. Now, before getting into the core of the video, let's talk about the creation of UTC. The university was created in 1972 and it is one out of the three universities in the UT group. The other two being Université de Technologie de Belfort Montbéliard and Université de Technologie de Troyes. The main thing that differentiates the UT group and the rest of the French engineering school is its academic system. In the UT group, students get to pick their own subjects based on your major and so they get to customize their engineering profile whereas in most of the French engineering schools, if not all, the modules are sort of imposed on the students based on their major. The second differentiating factor is that the UT group places a high value on autonomy and so timetables are much, much lighter whereas the other engineering schools that follow the same typical model of the French education system have long class hours daily from 8am to 6pm. So let's move on to the questions. Just a little disclaimer before I get into that, I'll be answering these questions based on the French engineering degree, so based on the Diplôme d'ingénieur. So it might not be the same information for those who are applying to do a master's degree or for those who are applying to do a, um, a PhD. So there are five majors at UTC, mechanical engineering, software engineering, biological engineering, urban engineering, and process engineering. And in these majors, they each have their own specializations. For example, in the biological engineering department, you have specializations on um, biomechanics, biomaterials, um, biomedical as well. I, for example, am a mechanical engineering student with a specialization in industrial design. The biggest departments at UTC are probably mechanical first and then software, I think, followed by biological, urban and process or process urban, I'm not sure, but you get the idea. So I think that there are three types of durations for your exchange at UTC. You can either do a two-year program, which is the equivalent of a double degree, or you could do a, a typical six-month exchange for the course of one semester, or you could stay at UTC for one year with um, two academic semesters, so six months, six months, or one academic semester and one internship in France. So again, just a little disclaimer, I think this information is only valid for those following the French engineering program. So the modules are taught mostly in French with the exception of the supply chain management module for those of you who are taking industrial engineering. So I think the language is something to take into consideration, but the uni also provides um, French classes for international students. And if it reassures you guys, I've had friends from Spain and Italy who only learn French in high school. So like they have like a few notions on the language, but they still manage the semester with the help of the French classes and of course mixing with the French students. So to know what sort of subjects are available for that academic year, you can go over to UTC's website and check out their catalogue. And as for what subjects you should study, I can't answer that for you because I think that it depends on the number of credits you need to validate your semester. And it also depends on the type of courses that your university at home requires to take. So I think the ideal situation would be to try to find like some equivalences in UTC and your home university. But I think the best thing to do would be to find out a few subjects at UTC and discuss them with your home university and see if they match with what your, your university wants. So there are a few terminologies that you need to know at UTC. The first one being UV or Unité de Valeur. One UV is literally the same thing as one subject. So there are three types of um, UVs at UTC. The first one is what we call CS or Connaissance scientifique or scientific knowledge. These are like your <clears throat> very theoretical engineering subjects like uh, fluid mechanics, uh, thermodynamics, material sciences, and so on. The second group is TM or technique et méthode 
or um, these are like your technical subjects which are more applicable which are more project based and the third one is the fun one it is called TSH ou technologie uh, et sciences de l'homme or it's what you call like your social sciences so here you have like economics theater art history all your languages the list is really quite endless so a typical semester at UTC is normally like six UVs, 2 CS, 2 TM and 2 TSH. By the way, I also made this video on the factors that helped me choose UTC as my engineering school. So if you're interested and if it might help you with your decision, don't hesitate to check it out. So we have two campuses at UTC, Benjamin Franklin and Pierre Guillaume. The Benjamin Franklin campus is found in the city center itself. It is this building that you see over here with a rather questionable aesthetics. And this is where you have most of your lectures and your tutorials. Practicals, on the other hand, are held at the Pierre Guillaume campus where you also have the innovation center and the research center. So it's like, it's actually a newer campus. So it's a lot bigger and you have a lot, like a lot more um, infrastructure that are new and it just looks a lot prettier. You also have the sports hall at the Pierre Guillaume campus and you can sign up for sports for that semester. You have so many types of sports like rugby, cheerleading, football, badminton and whatnot. And so a lot of them are held at the sports hall. So the examination system at UTC is not exactly the same um, compared to the French system where you have like continuous assessments all throughout the semester and frankly thank god for that because I couldn't cope with that many examinations throughout the semester. So at UTC, you have two main examination periods. You have the midterms and the finals. And depending on the subjects that you take, you could also most probably have projects to hand in or lab reports to hand in every two weeks or every week or so. So at UTC, you're graded on alphabets which give you your GPA score. So the highest GPA is 5 out of 5 and you have A, B, C, D, E, F, X and F. Uh, a being 6 and F being 0. So basically, if you get an A, it means that you get like a bonus point that would add a few marks when you calculate your overall average. So if you get an A to E, you're safe because that's a pass. But if you get an FX and an F, it's a fail. So what is an FX, you might ask? Well, an easy way to understand it is like, for example, if your passing mark is 10, um, if you get a 2 or a 5, it's like a complete fail. So you get an F. If you get like an 8 or a 9, you get an FX. So it's like, um, it's like a little reminder like, hey, you almost made it, but haha, <laughs> not quite. So I find that quite infuriating, but that's the difference between FX and F. You can opt for either student residences or private housing. I know that, for example, a lot of students um, lodge at the Robertval residence, which is like eight minutes by foot from the Benjamin Franklin campus. So I think it's a good bargain because you get like uh, a very functioning studio. I mean, it's very small, but you get a functioning studio um, for a reasonable price, I would say, compared to like private housing. Um, also, because there are a lot of international students, it's like all good vibes and you get to meet a lot of people. And also applying for student residences, I think like paperwork is a lot less complicated, especially if you're not like a French resident. It saves you a lot of trouble. And you guys could also check out like the GAF, which is a sort of government public service help which gives you um, subsidies on your rental. For food, you can check out the cafeterias and cafes that are um, operated by the crews once again. So each campus has its cafeteria. So you have one in BF and one at um, BG. The main cafeteria, I would say, is the one that's at BF because it's the biggest one. It's also the newest one because Fun story, it actually got burned down a few years ago, so it was like not operating at all. And they recently, it just recently got like built back, so it's completely new and it's super nice. The cafeterias are open for lunch and dinner, and you get like one meal with an appetizer, 
main dish dessert and a fruit under 4 euros or you could also grab a sandwich meal um, a few croissants or a cafe at the cafeteria as well you also have like a small cafe in the building itself where you have like pastries and light food like um, pasta in a box or a sandwich or bagels Student life is amazing, it's extremely rich and it's what makes UTC special. You have like over a hundred student associations for like literally anything, for music, sports, dance, um, engineering clubs, travel clubs, and the list just, just goes on and on and on. And so you have activities that are organized all year round by these student associations. You have like forums on engineering, you have TED Talks, concerts, themed parties, uh, student gala, color run, you also have the orientation month and that's just like the beginning, that's like, there's like still so many more activities that I have not listed out yet and then you also have the student bar or what's called the peak which is like the quintessential UTC experience so in the morning it's like a cafe you can get some pastries you can make yourself a coffee you can study with some friends or hang around you have like nice work music in the background and then like in the afternoon they start serving light meals you can also chill play foosball play a bit of pool and then in the evening the bar opens at like 6 30 so they start serving a beer and like it's under two euros so it's, it's it's great especially when you're a student but don't worry you also have um non-alcoholic drinks available and when the vibes are pretty good the bar turns into a dance floor and that's when it becomes magical when you enter UTC as an international student, you are automatically under the um, ESN Association, which is your Erasmus Student Network. So I think like those of you who study in Europe, you're probably familiar with this um, association. Basically what they do is they plan out activities for their international students at the university to welcome them and to make them feel more at home. So there's a lot of care that goes into organizing these activities all year round. You also have trips in Europe itself, like organized each semester. For instance, I know that this year the students went for a weekend trip to Amsterdam, so that's pretty cool. And it's also a chance to meet students from all over the world. You have people coming in from the United States, Canada, from uh, Morocco, China. You also have a lot of students from all around Europe. So it's like you, have, you get to meet all these amazing people in that one little space, in that one little place. And I think that's pretty cool. Like, I've met the most incredible people through ESN. So definitely a, a good thing to check out. Compiègne is like a small pretty French city like towards the northeast of Paris and it's only like 40 minutes away by train from the capital. You also have the Loise River that runs through the city where students usually hang out during the spring semester. The population of Compiègne itself is more towards like the older age group so it's not like the city is a bustling or anything it's a lot more peaceful um public transportation is also free here so that's i think that's pretty cool but to be very honest it's a bit too calm especially like for my taste because i grew up in a city in malaysia where it was very highly populated and it was very fast paced there was always so much of things to do and so that's the pace that i'm used to and so it was it's like it's not exactly like that in Compiègne. it's like a lot calmer a lot more peaceful but even if there's not much to do in the city itself, the student life and all its like incredible activities will keep you occupied and, and that is what keeps like Compiègne alive and moving so you definitely won't be bored. And even if you are, like Paris is just 40 minutes away so might as well. Voila, we've reached the end of the video. I hope that I managed to answer most of your questions regarding UTC. So having spent three years of my life um, at this university, I've got to say like it's probably, no it is the best three years of my life in France given that I've, I've been here for like about six years now. I got to work on so many cool projects related to my major. I got to discover so many new interests as well in that field. I also received so many opportunities and I got to meet the most amazing people. So I'm just so incredibly thankful for everything that this university has given me. Engineering is a challenging major and so I feel like um, your support 
system is very important the environment that you're in is very important and being at UTC just made the process like a, a whole lot um, enjoyable and manageable for me so thank you guys for making it this far into this video I hope that you found it helpful if you did please drop a like and do subscribe to my youtube channel as it would help me quite a lot thank you once again and see you in my next video ciao